Okay, what's good, y'all? He's Queen. How you doing, lovely? How y'all doing? So, I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. And while I do that, we're just gonna make a real quick floor wash. Okay, hold on. Okay, like I said, we're gonna make a real quick floor wash while I talk to y'all about something real quick. We just drop this bleach in here. cleansings, okay? A little lavender. Y'all know lavender brings peace and calmness. It also helps you sleep. Okay? We're gonna put a little violet in here. Violet brings that good Venetian energy, okay? We're gonna add a little tobacco because in all things we always on our ancestors all right and y'all can get these waters from me you know what i'm saying that's the tobacco that's the violet it's the lavender and that's the soda water y'all can get this stuff on my website okay now Add some water in here. Now that's just a quick floor wash because usually I would boil some herbs and all of that, but my floor just needs to be mopped right now. So uh, <laughs> we can go through the whole ritual a little later right now to get it clean is what's, what's the order of the day. Okay? But anywho, back to what I wanted to talk to y'all about. It says, we need to go over here to the book of Ephesians, okay? And we're going into Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, all right? All right, can we get some hot water in this thing? We need some soap. We need some bubbles. No, we can't get no bubbles. All right. I guess it's cool. We got a little bleach in there, though. Alright, so Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. You got evil sitting up in heavenly realms, parroting off of what we talked about earlier today, right? Your problem is not with that human. And the reason why I read this scripture is because I want y'all to understand, know, internalize, live, and grow, and understand that your issue is not with the person that you feel harms you most of the time. Your issue is with an entity. Okay? Y'all like my shirt? Spiritual life is an uncountable life because it's magic, baby. Being accountable, it's magic, baby, okay? So, oftentimes, you'll learn, you'll realize, and you'll start to understand that the problems you have with people is not because of the person, okay? It is an actual entity. They carry certain characteristics. How do you know this? You know this because you keep running into the same situation with multiple people. That is a spirit. Now, that spirit is either attached to you and it decides to manifest itself through the perception of how you perceive others. Or, that is a spirit that is attracted to you 
and it attracts you because you got to understand that there is something in you that attracts certain things to you even those things that we perceive to be negative or evil entities okay let's not get it twisted the yin and the yang principle there is darkness and light and light and darkness so it's not just somebody is just a nefarious raggedy person there are things in us that attract certain energies vibrations and frequencies to us and the only way we can get to know what it is is to be accountable for ourselves do our self introspection and reflection so we can learn and understand what those things are and how we can go about changing them now my message is you miss out on your blessings when you think you're fighting a person, okay? Because oftentimes, while you sitting up here holding grudges and, 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 and being angry, being upset, this, that, and the third, oftentimes, because of these things, and a lot of times, because people lack accountability, the mental gymnastics people will go through to not admit that they were wrong in a situation will keep them from having their blessings, okay?